Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3. We are Siri now for a little bit, uh, in this flashback of, uh, the story that Dandelion's telling. So, fuck. Excuse me. There's too many people to fight. Excuse me. Attention, Siri. Everyone wants your booty. Leave your horse. We have to. We're almost there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. 
Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it? she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Anything else? Damn, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Valen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. You can now begin your adventure with the Blood and Wine expansion. Your current the tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Blood and Wine expansion. And we only recommend starting it if your character level is at least 34. I'm not 34. I am like 17. 18? Okay, cool. Those in That'll be full for now. Yeah, fuck. I 
think it's Skellige time. Oh, no, we're going to do that first instead. Oh. to demonstrate that. So, we got this gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Sure. Oh. Um. Oh, there's a blacksmith in that. I guess I had clicked on the four point. Oh well. This is still where I want to be anyway. I got shit I can sell. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. What have you got there? Mm -hmm. Those are all needed to do. I like how a broken rake still sells for six coins. Honestly, the white bear hide is a, f a lot of money. Do, 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 do. Hi. So long. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but... Let's see these books. So I can just start... Selling all of the embedding. I've already read for the information. Hopefully, at least. So I want to sell anything. What have you got there? You have a fuck ton of stuff that can be sold. 
but all the alchemy stuff I kind of want to keep. So long. Um, I to also shit here. Ogrid, for workers, I bet. Um, enhanced cat, enhanced oh, yes, please. I do like that it looks like it it consumes the original. I'm out of there. The Griffin stuff looks to be all, all uh related to sign intensity. I think that is a good good start for now. So much work. So how do you go with this Actually. Ooh, excuse me. You're gonna have money. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. You only have forty some Bye. coins. Oh, which oh, what have you? I'm safe already. Sure. Mm. Any What a freak. No loitering man here. Something I I repeat. Do not. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. Where 
a problem? There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Uh huh. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, uh, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Uh-huh. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? I'm this is gonna have me play, we'll aren't try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Metallus. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Oh, sounds familiar. He's dead. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Let's go do the card thing now. Ooh. Let's go buy some cards. Which is gonna have me go and probably do something else too. So. Telling you for the last time. Go away. Oh. Oh. Fucking serious? Knock. Locked. Looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. What's up, dude? I was actually joking about the whole Zed's dead. The last wish. Little on the nose.
find it? No. The Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Fuck. Come on, Rico. Time to shine. Get him! Uh huh. I feel almost no regret for that. Isengrim foil Tiana from the square tail deck. I wonder how much this card's worth. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment around under around there. there. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Let's see. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Yep, they sure were. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something to do with what's going on here, but... Oh, alright, that was easier. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. Oh. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horson Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? Tribunal. No idea. Well, there are four. Not they've carved but... the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir, why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. 
So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead, Zed's baby. Zed's dead. <coughs> yeah! Arranged his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Ah, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. This one I would rather not get involved in. Caesar Bilson. Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. I'll fucking try. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had a facade painted gold. Gross. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Uh, youth these days. Seems like these yeah, right are the better one to start off. Sleep. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Hopefully that's nothing big. I do have to say, the lighting in this game, while in certain aspects, is garbage. Like, I can't see shit a lot of a uh, good chunk of time. But things like this is gorgeous. Hey there, handsome. Like it's a good sunset, and the, the hey, color for that is awesome. Why'd your hair go white? Gentlemen. Stop. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it just seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Nope. Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life. Fancy that. However, I don't want him to be dead either. Uh, the 
problem is I'm gonna lose. Alright, I'll fucking give it a shot. Agreed. <laughs> I'm a hero I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! I'm not gonna get the card and I'm gonna lose. That's what's gonna fucking happen here. I just started clicking maybe too quick, I guess. Oh. Okay. That'll be helpful. Even though that'll just nerf myself, but... at some point. What I could do is this, draw, and uh, drop it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, we're getting to a point now where this might get a little hairy. matter like I that's just gonna tr stay at one Guess what? Yep. Hmm. Wow, that 
that's it for Ravi. Your turn, shitbag. I mean, he's gonna be dead anyway, so. Come on, come closer. Ooh, he tried. I knew there was something about skipping rounds. Um, and for whatever reason, I just couldn't think of how to do that in the last battle. And sure enough, there's... It's just, I, it's, when I saw forfeit game, I think I must have thought round. Like, the game was just the single round, not the whole thing, but... How'd you make out with Ravi? Well, got the Natalis card. Excellent. Now we've just Caesar Bilzin to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the calm there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Fade Caesar never sell for Angela. But don't you worry. You won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. What else does he have? So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Hi. Oh, him! Oh, that's, that's Geralt! Does uh, Geralt fish? Sure. Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! And my ankle was super fucking itchy there. So what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. Just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander tasting you? Recenterly is not a word. Um, I happen to fucking like happen it. Happen to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher. But you shoving them potions shits a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Wilson. Did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? 
Ah, cop suckers lying like always. Haunter Pike, aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need live bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals use up in Kaer Mori? Bombs. Bombs. How's that? <laughs> no, I haven't had many jests lately. Although, true enough, that one wasn't a very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. All right. Right. You can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. I'll take it. Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Fuck my nose itches. All right. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Ah, here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Sarah Varana hits necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. And out. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Damn it, so I can't like put it back? sword is junk but where's some money hey man couldn't find it Zoltan time we were on our way uh, I suppose so grown late wait now leaving already where's that bottle you went to fetch greetings Belzin. we have a message for you from the boss message what kind of message mr cleaver's very unhappy uh, now just a minute 
If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Yeah, I'll leave him alone. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to you, lads. Haven't they got all day? Uh, yeah. oh! Witcher. Witcher hunters. Thanks. Literally didn't do anything. Uh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Thanks, gang, for giving me an out. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. That was all you, dude. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit. Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort. I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much of a... Can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beard. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> You wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Uh huh. Do any. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others. Time. All right. Excuse me. I fucking climb, thank you. What? Can't understand a word. Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Oh. Oof. We went down. Got it. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. It's like the slow Terminator walk. Driving drowners? You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I've never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. I have no desire to learn how to play Gwent. Rather have the coin. It's yours. I'll still pay the King of Beggars on time. Won't that cocksucker be surprised? Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Ponta. All right. I didn't mean to necessarily like belch right into the uh the mic, but the direction that um uh, yeah yeah right. that'll be the next thing that we do, and that will end up being where we uh, start the next episode. Perfect time to this one. But first, we'll just we'll make it there, and then we'll end the episode. So, yeah, no, there's there's some things with this that I'm not super great with in terms of morality. Um, and like choices. Um, did I necessarily want to murder the dude? Eh. Um, however, there is, like, I didn't want to necessarily just have him run away either with everything. Just having me turn my back and leave. I didn't want to do that. So. Oh, well. There's a lot of these things where I'm like, I wish there was a gray option and not a black and white. Anyway. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix. Game on.